Here is an array of clocks. Here's us at the center. Five, six, seven, eight, and eight, 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 eight. These clocks over here are one, two, three, four light seconds away. So they're four seconds behind. If I move over, short light seconds. One second behind, one second behind, one second behind, one second behind, it still all works out. Let's take a little trip. Going up, going back down. So this clock right here has been fine the whole time, but let's get back to our home base. And our home base has experienced three more seconds of time than we have. What's up with that? That's twin paradox or something. All right, let's ditch this little universe. This grid right here is experiencing a whole lot of time without us. That is whack. Well, we're traveling away at like 0.9 C. All right, let's reset. Look at this particle, it's going pretty fast. And now it's still chugging along, slowing down. That's because this system isn't displaying where this particle is, it's displaying where that particle is three seconds ago, or displaying where that particle was four seconds ago. So it's taking longer for this vision to get to us, so it looks like it's slowing down. And that system of recording where particles are works for all of these. They're just particles that I put in a grid. There's no forces on them. The only force I added was WASD. So this system can work for all these particles moving around. I probably missed a Lorentz factor here or there. And I don't have these shapes actually shifting. The dots say perfectly circular in this display. And these colors are staying the same 500 nanometer wavelength everywhere. But those all can be fixed on. But this basic architecture is pretty neat.